My God, I hate drugs. Inulan ng batikos si Agot Isidro dahil sa Facebook post kung saan tinawag niyang psychopath ang Pangulo. Pati ang palasyo sumagot pero meron din namang kumampi sa aktres. Nakatutok si Aubrey Carampel. Yan ang pagsalarawan ng aktres na si Agot Isidro kay Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte sa kanyang post sa Facebook. Sa gitna na rin ito ng mga maaanghang na pahayag at pagmumura pa ng Pangulo laban sa Amerika at European Union na hinamon pang mag-withdraw ng kanilang financial aid sa Pilipinas. Hindi nga direktang pinangalanan ng Pangulo pero binanggit niya ang paglukluk dito ng labing anim na milyong tao sa bansa. Sabi ni Agot, kung makapagsalita raw ang Pangulo ay parang superpower ang Pilipinas. Kung gusto raw ng Pangulo, ay siya na lamang ang magutom at wag naman damay ng iba. Sinabi rin niyang dapat magpatingin si Duterte sa isang psychiatrist. Hindi raw siya bipolar kundi isang psychopath. Dahil dito, inula ng batigo sa social media si Agot. Ang ilan, personala na ang pambabash sa aktres. Si Elizabeth Oropesa na kilalang maka Duterte. May FB post naman na naka-t-shirt na nakalagay na it's a Duterte thing you wouldn't understand. Isa raw siya sa 16 million na psychopaths. Bagamat kahapon ay sinabi ng palasyong may karapatan sa kanyang opinion si Agot, ngayon may buwelta na. It's a little bit, it, it's really going to the edge. No? It's really going to the edge. But uh, uh, much more than that, I think the President sees, uh, has a higher perspective and sees that this is While it can be irritating, it's, uh, it's something that uh, just, you know, just demonstrates where she is in terms of, uh, in terms of being a uh, patriot. Pero may mga kumampi rin kay Agot, kabilang si Senator Antonio Trillanes. Pinupuri ko siya no? at uh, nagkaroon siya ng tapang na sabihin yung kanyang saloobin. Suportado rin si Agot ng kaibigan na si Cherry Pie Picache. And a colleague of mine... As uh, si Ms. Agot Isidro uh, went viral because of her message and her opinion and her stand. Uh, gusto ko rin po sabihin na nakikig sa ako. Artista po kami, nasa arts and culture kami, pero may utak po kami at paninindigan ng prinsipyo. Sa huling post ni Agot sa kanyang Facebook account, ay sinagot nito ang mga bashers sa pamamagitan ng pag-post ng isang article link tungkol sa mga psychopath. Aubrey Carampel, Nakatutok, 24 Oras. Why do I keep doing these lives? Because it's easy. And I reach a lot of people. Hello, actress, you bitch. You fucking bitch. You bitch. How dare you call President Duterte a psychopath? You bitch. You yellow tarred, goddamn, oligarch, bitch. Do we not know that public figures, people with money, are going to be sucking the dicks, the little bitty dicks, and licking the assholes of the oligarchs? They love each other. People in high places always look down on the victims and blame us for the shit they do. That is what evil does. That's why the church has so much goddamn money and doesn't spend it on children. That's why there's hypocrisy in the fucking church. Filipina put on one of my posts a Wikipedia definition that the church is the biggest provider of public health services in the world. <laughs> It's Wikipedia. Who gives a shit about actresses and actors, movie stars, musicians, if they are standing for oligarchy, they are your enemy. God damn it. Now you know who is your enemy. Anyone who comes against President Duterte comes against the people of the Philippines. I have been knowing, like the World Health Organization, there's nothing about world health involved in the World Health Organization.
It's killing more people than it's helping. The Bill and Belinda Gates Foundation. Question the government of India about Gordasil. A disabling disease, a disabling cancer, cervical cancer drug that they give young girls and it's making them sterile. It's making them have palsy. They want to give it to young boys. How in the fuck are you going to give a cervical cancer drug to a boy? He doesn't have a fucking service. He's got a little dick, you son of a bitch. If you people would know what I know, you would be standing next to me. We would be showing the world the truth about humanity. It would take all of my life to explain everything I know about the fucking oligarchs. But any time you see someone position their mouth to speak and words come against President Duterte to make him look bad, they are defending the oligarchs. They're defending the people who want you to shut your mouth and be a good goddamn slave. Shut up, stupid human. Don't you know yellow is the right color? Huh? Don't you know Okino was a man of the Philippines? Don't you understand? <laughs> I can ask for help until I die. I might just die. I wish I could. I'm tired of this shit. I'm sick and tired of asking and talking and talking and fucking talking and talking and talking. People telling me, take care of yourself. Why don't we just give the oligarchs back their, let them have their life and let them control us. Let them kill our children. That's what we will do. We will give all the oligarchs back their power and we will stop fighting. I'm tired of wasting my time. I want to live also. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Every day, every night, every day, every night. I have 912, 914 people on my site. I feel like I have failed. Today. I did a radio show today. People tell me, I'm going to call you later. No calls. Because people are too busy. They talk and talk and they have their lives and they're okay. They're good oligarch slaves. I don't give a fuck who you are. If you're a goddamn slave, you're a fucking slave. And you need to be told about it. Son of a bitch. How many fucking days I have suffered? How many goddamn days I have spent and focused all of my attention watching these goddamn oligarchs defending President Duterte, losing my own soul in the process. I'm going to quit. I'm going to delete my goddamn Facebook and I'm going to run and hide because, you know, humans are too stupid to wake up. Humans are too fucking stupid to be human. They would rather go to church and eat Jesus and drink his blood. How dare anyone go against President Duterte? I wish somebody would slap the shit out of that bitch. Trillionary, I'd like to cut his dick. Just cut it off on television and stick it in his mouth. Make him swallow it.
in the United States, I'm going to show you how fucking ignorant, how stupid the goddamn people are here. Okay? In this fucking United States, the United Nations Peacekeeping <laughs> Council, the Peacekeeping Council went to Syria and proved, they proved that ISIS, ISIS has nothing to do with Islam. They proved it. It'll stand outside the fucking door. Maybe there'll be a better connection. Just stupid shit. Let's see if this works better. The United Nations Peacekeeping Council went to Syria and came back and had a 45 minute press conference. The video is in my YouTube channel exposing that ISIS is a paid mercenary group funded by the United States, Israel, Syria, and Turkey. And you know what? You know what? The fucking people in the United States don't even pay attention. I had a close friend of mine. I told him, I said, what if I could show you a video that would prove from the mouth of the United Nations Peacekeeping Council that ISIS had nothing to do with Islam. You know what this stupid son of a bitch named Cecil Trahan in my city said? He said, ISIS is terrorist, Muslim. He cursed me. He said I was fucking crazy. I need to start exposing people and their goddamn ignorance. I can prove to you that the church sacrifices children, kills children. They sacrifice humans also. I can prove to you that the church is evil and satanic. But most of you are not going to give a shit. Most of you are not going to give a shit because you're too, you're, you're too used to being in the generational curse. You're too used to it. You'd rather still die. Yes, you would. ISIS just control everything. Let it, let it run. Let ISIS be what it is. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit if John eats? Who gives a shit? I live in a fucking motel room. Who gives a shit, huh? Nobody gives a shit. Nobody gives a fuck about me. Why should I? I tell people, join my website. Sign up, join my website. I reach millions of people. Believe me, I reach millions of people. I have under a thousand, under one thousand in four months. Four months. Nobody fucking listens to me. Why should I do what I do? Nobody gives a shit. Every time I do a video and I talk stupid, it goes viral, you know? But I'm fixing to stop what I'm doing because nobody gives a fuck. It's just words. Words. Action is required, goddammit. I have my friend, my personal friend. You know what he tells me to do? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just let humanity die. If they're going to come back and they're going to live again. They're going... Okay, what about the children suffering? He's got two twin little nieces that live with him. Beautiful daughter, beautiful twins. Huh? Nobody wants to help me. Not with money, not with food, nothing. Nothing. Not a fucking thing. Why the fuck should I keep doing what I'm doing? Why should I do what I do? You tell me why I should stay and do what I do. Facebook is just talking anyway. It's a fucking place for morons to be. Morons. The oligarchs made Facebook for you. And me. To stupid. To look stupid. To, to, do, to do this shit. Just to talk. No action, just talk. I can prove to you Facebook is killing us slowly. Facebook is killing us. Because you can't even listen to directions to join a website that'll help you and the president. You do not care. So I delete my Facebook later.